Hello everyone, in this video we will learn what is gradient descent, how it works and how to implement gradient descent on logistic regression. So let's get started. I am Jay Patel and I upload new videos on machine learning every week. So hit the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon and for now let's jump to this board. Now this is the formula for the cost function in logistic regression. And cost function is nothing but just the error representation that we use in machine learning. And if you do not know anything about cost function for logistic regression, then click on the I button right here. It will take you to the video where I have explained the cost function well and how this actually came. Now, y hat are our predictions, which is given by sigmoid of W transpose X plus B, and sigmoid is given by this. So, as this cost function is the error representation, we need to minimize the error so that our accuracy gets increased. So, to minimize the error, we need to use gradient descent algorithm. So, what is gradient descent algorithm? Let's say if we plot the graph of cost versus parameter w, then we will get a curve something like this. Now the minimum value of the cost function lies at this point. But let's say if we start at this point initially, then we need to converge at the, low, at the minimum point right here. So we can do this by taking a small small steps like this and eventually oscillate at this minimum region. So we can update W in such a way that it always converges. If, if we are at this side, then the W increases and we get towards the minima. And if we are at this side, then W should decrease so that we get at this side. So how can we do that? We can do this by repeating a step which is given by Now here, alpha is a very small quantity, a positive constant number, which is called learning rate. And we are multiplying it by del cost by del w. So this is the derivative of cost with respect to the w. So the derivative represents the slope of this graph. So let's say if we are on this half, then the slope is negative. So we are multiplying a negative quantity with another negative, so it will be it will become plus. So we will increase W by a small quantity. As alpha here is very small, so we will update W by a small quantity. So, so W will increase by a small amount and thus it will go towards the minima. And let's say if we are on this half, then the slope is going to be positive. So we are subtracting W with a small quantity. Thus the W will decrease and we will move towards the minima and eventually we will keep on oscillating at the region very close to our local minima. Similarly, we need to update the B. Updating both these parameters will lead to the minimum cost function value and thus we will be able to minimize our error. Let's find out what, what will this be. Now, our formula for the cost function was Now, if you know the derivative or the differential calculus, then you will find that del cost by del w comes out to be y hat minus y multiplied by x. So, I am representing y hat, y and x all in the capital form. These are the matrix representation of all the observations. Similarly, del cost by del b will come out to be y hat minus of y. Now, to keep the video short, I have explained this computation on how this came in my next video. And if you're not very good with derivatives and differentiation, then that video will give you a good clarity on how this came and how to actually do the differentiation. So all of that help will be provided in our next video. So this was our logistic regression gradient descent algorithm where we update our W and B parameter in such a way that our cost function converges to its minimum. Now check out my next video where I have explained this computation by clicking on this side and I see you there.